today and deposits forty thousand dollars. Forty thousands of fortune in cash. A check. That's check with a Q U E. Why we were just telling <laughs> That is a scene from Lord Gordon Gordon, a musical comedy that premieres this Saturday night at the History Theater in St. Paul. It's a, based on a true story from 1871 about a con man who says he is Lord Gordon Gordon from Scotland. The play is written and composed by Jeffrey Hatcher and Jan Pauling. Uh, two of the actors from the show join us right now. Mark Battinghoffen plays Lord Gordon Gordon. And Jen Peden plays Mrs. Belden. Thank Hi. you guys for coming in. Well, thanks for having us. First of all, who on earth would believe someone who claims to be Lord Gordon <laughs> Gordon? Uh, Sounds like the worst con ever. I'll people. tell you what, it's early Minnesotans <laughs> fell for this hook, line, and sinker. He came to Minneapolis. Uh, he was British. And he, he put on the kilt and the whole deal, and he showed up in Minneapolis, and they had a train line that went all the way out to Fergus Falls, and he got everybody on the train and got everybody excited, and they took the train out there, and he said, I'll buy all of it, and you can have stores and towns and blah, blah, blah. Just give me a little money, and I'll be back with 60,000 Scots. And uh, he lied and, and took all that money. Wow. And then got in bigger trouble. Yeah. Kind of reminiscent of Harold Hill and the oh, music band, right? Yep. So yeah, he he was a charmer, and he was known for dressing really flamboyantly and dropping lots of hints about his lordly status in mm. over in Scotland. So it, he, um, but he not only conned people here, he w went then on to do a giant con in New York when he took a million dollars from Jay Gould, the oh, wow. robber baron. Yeah. Well, good. There's people right. dumber than us. Yeah. That's, that's oh, comforting. Yeah. No, they really got that's him. Very so, nice. Yeah. Good. Uh, so the History Theater is not what I always think of for musicals. How did mm -hmm. the show end up there? Well, Chan and um, Chan Poling and Jeff Hatcher had a huge success. Uh, this is their fourth musical now. And um, uh, help, help me with the name of uh, yeah, Glen Sheen. Glen Sheen, oh, that's right. which is going to yep. be revived again this summer uh, for the fourth time, I think. Oh wow! And it's a it's a real triangle that's gotten built between the composer, the writer, and the history theater, and it's quite a partnership. Cool. Yeah. It's smart, right? Because you're tell you're bringing these stories of real Minnesota history to mm -hmm. life. A lot of these stories do read like a crazy drama. musical drama. Yeah, right? yeah. insane. Yeah. I mean, we um, we look back at those times and think, wow, these characters were huge, larger yeah. than life. This was really like the old west in so many ways, where mm. people were still, yeah, we're back yeah. in the 1870s in our show. Yeah. What's the music like? Wow, it's 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 got a little <laughs> bit of everything. Okay. Yeah, I dance a tango. Um, We've got some beautiful love songs, and then there's some very almost um, old timey kind of sort of rousing songs. kind yeah. of town square stuff. You know, it's the music is wonderful and complex and real varied. So, um, and as you would to expect from Chan, from yeah. Chan, of course, right. yeah. 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 So, between, yeah, between the suburbs and the new standards and whatever else Chan's got in mind, musical theater now clearly is now his third thing. And uh, yeah, it's beautiful and, and complex. And Jeffrey Hatcher's story, though, it's based on. Uh, historical fact to get the story started, he's done a really beautiful job of weaving a, a love story into it and, and other things to keep it kind of grounded. You know, well, sounds cool. great. That Thank sounds you guys. Yeah. Lord Gordon Gordon at History Theater this Saturday through June 3rd. Tickets are from $25 to $52. And we have showtimes at WCCO.com slash links.